Let's catch up on the latest student loan news. First, fewer high school seniors have submitted the FAFSA this year, raising concerns about low-income students affording college this fall. FAFSA is crucial for federal, state, and school financial aid. Some colleges have extended deadlines, but many still require deposits by May 1st. Despite a rocky start, the new FAFSA is now functional, with applicants able to make changes. New Yorkers seeking FAFSA help can contact EDCAP for free counseling. Next, the Education Department forgave $3.9 billion in loans for over 200,000 former ITT tax students who applied to the Borrower Defense to Repayment Program, an intended school from January 2005 to September 2016. Moving on, starting May 1st, all public service loan forgiveness processing will be temporarily halted as those functions will be transitioned to federal student aid and are expected to resume there in July. Starting May 1st, borrowers will not be able to see their PSLF tracker at Mohila, so we urge people to download their records before this date. Visit our YouTube channel for more guidance. And finally, borrowers with multiple federal student loans and those who took out loans prior to 2011, such as FFEL, HEAL, and Perkins loans, have less than a week to maximize their credit toward loan forgiveness programs or gain more access to affordable income-driven repayment plans. Borrowers must consolidate at studentaid.gov before the IDR account adjustment ends on April 30th. Visit our website for more guidance. That's all for this week. Take care.